Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the brownie alamut right here, this little guy. And I made a pink one right there. So for this project, you're going to need your foam, one inch or so. You get this at home building stores, home hardware. Um, you're going to need some craft paint. The, for the brown, I use burnt umber. You're going to need gloss Mod Podge right here. You need fake sprinkles, cherries, frosting tip, any one, but I use this one right here, Open Star. Your ice cream scoop, your lightweight speckle, which is your crack filler. You buy at that Dell Home Hardware or Home Building Supply Stores. And your latex uh, caulking. And I think I covered everything you need for this. Okay, so we'll get started. First, what you're gonna do is take your piece of foam and you're gonna cover it up with your caulking. So here I've got the white, this is a white solid caulking, and uh, you mix it with your craft paint. And it's kind of runnier because, the brown is kind of runnier because you've got to put quite a bit of uh, paint into it to get it quite dark. So for the pink, it's not as runny. So I found, uh, I did a couple coats actually with the brown. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna cover your foam here. Once you fix, uh, once you mix up your craft paint in your caulking, and we've done this before. We've made fake chocolate bars, the same idea. You're gonna cover it at all. Like I said, I did a couple coats, but this caulking has been sitting for a little while, so it probably thickened up a little bit since I made these other ones. And we're gonna spread it all around and this is my last summer project for you guys so I wanted to whip this up for you today get it done summer's gonna be over soon okay you're gonna spread it all on top there just like a cake and this is gonna dry. I usually let this dry for the day. It takes a while to dry. To do a second coat, I don't think you have to wait for it to completely dry to do the second coat though. But once you wanna work with this for the next steps, you'll have to let it dry completely there. So once you get that all frosted, you set it on your foam here and just set it aside and let it dry. So once you have that part done, you are going to have this, I got one right here. Now these ones, I drizzled it, I made it on the plate, it, on the plate itself, um, but you can make it on these, on wax paper, and it peels off, and you can put on whichever plate you want, like this one I made, and it peels right off, the edges peeled off. Really good, I found. And then you can set it on a plate like that, and you see, still see the drips, if you know what I mean. Yeah. If you don't want to do it on the actual plate, you don't have to. So, uh, next step is that we're going to put our fake ice cream. And this, once again, is your lightweight spackle. Mix with craft paint. Mix with quite a bit of flour. Regular white flour, all-purpose flour. And you really want, you want it a little thicker because you want them to show that nice consistency of the ice cream scoop of ice cream, the scoop of ice cream, I should say. Um, so, and you're gonna scoop up your ice cream and gonna tap it in there. And you want a kind of a messy edge. So you kind of leave ice cream sticking out on the edges there like that. And then you're gonna put it right on your cake here, brownie. There, it's like that. And then you're going to take your mixture here. Your fake chocolate sauce is your gloss Mod Podge with your craft brown paint mixed up. And you want it fairly runny for that job. There, you take a little spoon and you are going to drizzle it on your ice cream.
like that. These are pretty easy, pretty easy projects. You know, let it drizzle down onto the wax paper or your plate, whichever you decide to make it on, on each side here, there. Okay, so once you do that, you're gonna take your fake sprinkles. I showed you how to make these in another video. And you're just gonna sprinkle it on all over. And you're gonna let this dry for a day or two. This, before you try to peel it off. I'd say do the next day you can, you can peel it off. If it's not on a plate. There we go. Like that. And like I said, you like this. I like to keep let this dry before I put um, a little frosting on top because it's going to kind of slide off with the mod with the uh, Mod Podge. So you're going to let that dry for a little bit. And you're going to set it aside, and you're going to take your already dried sauce here. And then you got your little frosting tip right here, and you're just going to put it right on top here, just like that. So, you can take your fake cherries, I buy these online on eBay, and you stick it right on top. There you go, and it's all done. That's all. That's all you got to do for this little project. Um, like I said, this is the blonde brownie that I made. I had to make a pink one, and uh, but uh, I thought these are really cute, look cute on my kitchen table. So I hope you liked this little video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.